Hey, what? Oh, that's no good. Okay, I'll see you soon. When the number one giant pumpkin grower in New Zealand rings you and says there's a problem with his pumpkin, you really want to go check it out. So, let's go. Hello and welcome. Here we are, we're at Tim, with Tim. We're checking out his patch. Tim, what's happened with your season so far? Everything's been going good until... A couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, I hear. Yeah, uh, we had my biggest one split. Um, Blossom end split, uh, a bit too much growth maybe, uh, and the wall was too thin, we think. Yeah, quite a sunken in blossom end. Very so. sunken in, show that in a sec, you'll see it's uh, actually, if you take a photo front on, you still can't tell how deep and sunken in that is, so it's a bit crazy. Uh, super warm day here. The plant itself, all the leaves are looking amazingly healthy. There's no powdery mildew at all. I'm pretty impressed with that. But you do have another pumpkin on the go. Yep. So season is not over yet. Not yet. Not quite. And Alex obviously has a pumpkin as well, which we will check out very soon as well. He's been dealing with, it looks like, a bunch of rats. Would you say that's what's been happening? Yep. Yep, rats have been uh, clawing away at the pumpkin, so not good, but something that you may need to keep under control uh, in your patch. So um, here's the blossom end split. It's very hard to judge from this, but how deep this blossom goes in. If this is sort of the normal back end of the pumpkin, you've still got this much distance probably hard to see in the video but uh, very very sunken blossom um, got the hole here seed should be all good inside Tim's going to be removing this in the next couple of days uh, he wants to take it out of the patch carefully and um, make sure that the other pumpkins doing well pretty impressive to see this and um, just something to be conscious of if you have a funny shaped blossom end okay Tim this is your second pumpkin it's almost it's two days younger than the one that's split, and it's sort of tracking along the same sort of growth path. Yeah, almost. close. Yeah, um, currently measuring about 540 kilos. Yep. Um, I guess gaining about uh, uh, close to 20 kilos a day at the moment. 20 kilos a day, which is amazing. Uh, what is that seed that you grew? Uh, that's the 1338 Martin. There we go, 1338 Martin. Okay. Uh, people may think I come out here to see Tim's pumpkins, but in all reality it's just to see what Alex is up to and I'm um, waiting for the day that Alex is going to beat Tim. That'll be a magical moment. But uh, here we are with Alex's pumpkin. What did, what did you grow this year, Alex? The 1781. Which was your dad's pumpkin from last year? Yeah. And how do you think it's going? Is it good? Yeah. Was it a good seed choice? Yeah. Awesome. How much is it weighing roughly about now? Uh, 440. 440 kilos it's looking really good but what have you had to deal with this year the rats the rats the rats have been trying to claw and chew into the pumpkin a little bit so how have you been uh, fixing up those marks um put a bit of sulfur on it yep the old peroxide and sulfur yeah awesome stuff fixes up a lot of things what do you think it's going to end up weighing when you take it to the great pumpkin carnival hopefully bigger than last year what was last year's 651 so we've got about 50 something days to go I think till the carnival so uh, the weather holds out the rats stay away everything keeps on track it looks good uh, I know that you had problems with the vine tips burning at the end so you haven't got a full patch of vines unfortunately it's a bit of a bummer but your pumpkin's looking great thanks for uh, taking the time and showing me it do you have anything that you want to tell anybody out there that's growing giant pumpkins, either this season or thinking about it next season? Um, no. Okay, there we go. A man of many words, just like his dad. Thanks, Alex. So there we go. I hope you liked that video of me checking in with Tim and Alex and checking out their massive, massive giant pumpkin patch and the really good looking pumpkins. It's a shame that that big pumpkin split, but due to the size of it and the shape and just the weirdness of it, you saw how that was. Uh, as soon as you get that opening and ears getting into that cavity, uh, game over, your pumpkin is going to rot. So uh, I'll keep you up to date with how the rest of the season's going and hopefully those pumpkins will make it to the way off uh, at the end of March and we'll just see how much they actually weigh. Thanks for watching, make sure to check out the website for all the latest info, come find me on Instagram, become a patron, 
or you know just say hi on facebook till next time i'm sam thanks see ya